out of district transfer policy uh, and where y'all was uh, disallowed and then allowed eight students to come into class and make as they have. So based on all that, and then uh, thank you, Mr. Means, and some input from other board members, uh, what I would recommend uh, to do is that for the next board meeting in December, uh, that the management team bring a recommendation, which I initially believe should be to keep the status quo for now. Uh, in January, the applications are due for some of the schools. Parents have been planning on it heading this way, and because of a variety of, port of reports, I think our patrons are confused, unsure, and I don't think the official documents of this board give us any clarity. So uh, that's what I would anticipate doing and uh, putting it uh, as an expedited item on the next agenda. Uh, but the other part that weighs on me is not just the impact on patrons and students and parents, but also these are some of our most highly performing schools. What contributes to that? Uh, I I'm not certain that we know all the inputs and outputs. Well, we know the outputs, they're eight. Uh, so I'm hesitant to do anything that uh, then the next permanent superintendent would have to live with. So that's where, what I've learned so far, but just wanted you all to be aware of uh, what I've learned and what I anticipate recommending going forward. Well, thank you. And I, I think that we really are going to ask the, you and, and the staff to look at procedures relative to our charters, to our um, specialty, schools. specialty schools, and and that we can have a conversation and get all of these issues in alignment <laughs> where we know where the information came from, we know why we're doing what we're doing, whether it, you know it's an enterprise school or a charter school, and that we have the same baseline for all of those and that we're informed and we know what we're asking and what we're looking for in each of those situations. So I don't know that policy has actually been set down and I think this just brings to focus the fact that there are things that haven't been, that have just been done as a process and not necessarily voted on by this board and I would hope that we would keep things the way they are until we have an opportunity to really look and see what we've got. And certainly, George, thank you for your input and time on finding out. I mean, I think in some of these situations, we don't even have room for to put the sixth grade there because of just numbers. So thank you. That's the conclusion of my report. I have a question. Any questions? Yes, sir. Um, 